Raise your voices high, sing of your Caribbean pride. Sing it loud and strong, feel the hearts beat as one. Celebrate in song as we rise to heights where we. As part of the activities organized by the Regional Integration Unit of the Office of the Prime Minister to recognize the 50th anniversary of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, which would have been July of 2023, the Regional Integration Unit engaged students throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia, students of Forms 4 and 5, who came together to get information on CARICOM, on the Caribbean community, the work of the organization, and the opportunities available to them as they transition out of school and into the world of work. Today at this union, I learned about CARICOM and how it could help me as a student and also to better my life as a young person and also to help me find better opportunities as a citizen of CARICOM. We engaged students from the north, south, east and west coast of St. Lucia, bringing them together in groups so that they could interact even while obtaining that information. And they could also share with us and with each other their ideas on what they wanted from the regional integration movement. The session today was very informative and as a social studies student, I have grasped enough knowledge on CARICOM and OECS. Well, in my learning experience, it was wonderful. I learned a lot about OECS and CARICOM, and I do hope to use that information on my further upcoming CXC exam. I have learned more about the CARICOM members and the OECS members, and I feel like when I go back to school, I will still have that knowledge and express it to the rest of my classmates. This type of engagement is an integral part of the work of the Regional Integration Unit as we seek to ensure that we spread the word about CARICOM, about the OECS, about regional integration and the opportunities and possibilities for the citizens of St. Lucia. And today this information was very much helpful to me so when I get older I could find another job in other countries that relate to CARICOM. What we attempt to do is to engage the entire population as much as possible. And so starting with the students is critical. These are our young people. These are in fact the generation that needs to know what can happen next. The, as students who are making decisions about their lives, fourth form, fifth form, so where are they going to move to next? What is available to them, not just in St. Lucia anymore, but throughout all of the member states of the Caribbean community that are participating in the CARICOM single market and economy. Today's we session was very informative. I learned about a lot about OECS and CARICOM. I learned how it can benefit me as a student and as a citizen of both CARICOM and OECS. We covered material relating to the free movement of people, what this means, and what are the categories of nationals who can move? Who are the skilled nationals to which we often refer? How do you establish a business in another Caribbean uh, country? Uh, how do you move to offer your services if you want to offer your services by moving? Or how do you do so from the country in which you are located to a country other, um, elsewhere? So we covered those kinds of areas. We also looked very simply at some of the challenges that the countries themselves face. So as St. Lucia, what are the difficulties that we, we encounter as we try to be part, a part of this single market and economy? Today in the ambassador's presentation, I learned about the CARICOM and OECS countries in which the way that they operate and function. I was happy to hear that I could travel to another country in the sake of work or to establish a business. I enjoyed the way the ambassador taught us about regional integration, how she interacted with us. She made it both informative, interactive. And this activity really sets the, the, the groundwork 
Uh, it is the first one that we have undertaken in quite some time. We did start working with students and with the public and private sector a few years ago, perhaps prior to COVID. And with COVID, as you know, much, a lot of activities shut down because we could not have the face-to-face -face engagement. But also, um, I think a lot of our energy went into other areas. So now we, we look at this uh, series of engagements with students as the, the jump, jump off point for us. We anticipate that we will have, within the near future, a team from the CARICOM Secretariat here with us to continue the promotion of our public education work and also to ensure that this is not a one-off but this is just the start of an ongoing again another process of engagement of our people. <laughs>